Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah, I've got a little something to share with you here. It didn't even come in my email. It came in my phone. Today is July the 17th. It's 3.33. Hmm, how about that? I was so hoping we'd go home today, but the day's not over. So it's 18th in some parts. I don't care. I'm still hoping. <laughs> and does anybody blame me? Listen to this. The Alabama Department of Public Health's July 17th, 10 a.m. numbers. This is the first alarm I, or alert I've gotten since May, middle of May, when I open things back up. The July 17, 10 a.m. numbers showed 62,111 cases in the state, up, listen to this, by 1,953 overnight. I'll continue. Deaths jumped by 32 to a total of 1,232. I guess that's since this all began. Here are the county by county numbers. All right, so then it's got a picture of the virus. All right, y'all, come on. Clear all. Oh, no. I'll get it back. Okay. One thousand nine hundred fifty three new coronavirus cases in Alabama overnight. All right. Now I wanted to just show you this they start telling you all the different counties in Alabama. This is just one state now, so I'm wondering if y'all can check your state. All right, my county is the largest. I'm in because I'm in the biggest city in Alabama. I don't know how I managed to get myself down here. I guess because my daughter came down here to go to school. How did I pass it? Here it is. We have a total of, or have had, I don't know how they're counting that, 8,105 cases. And it's up overnight. By 296 cases. All right. So, in other words, they're reporting all these different. Mobile is up by 199. That's a big city. And the one, uh, Huntsville is a big city. And it was up by Madison, is up 175. And that's where UAH is, University of Alabama of Huntsville. We have University of Alabama of Birmingham here. And then the University of Alabama is in Tuscaloosa, um, which is where the football team is that does so good every year. It's Tuscaloosa County. They're only up by 63. Of course, school's not in session. It's mainly a college town, which makes it on, puts it on the map. All right, now I wanted to show you something else. Very interesting, okay? Look at this woman in the mask, okay? See this new nanotech uh, mask she's wearing? Now, let me read this to you. The nano, this nanotech mask has 1,000 plus verified five-star reviews back in, well, I guess you have to click on it. There's all kind of masks here, breathable sports masks, and it's showing breath coming in and out of the opening. I have one sort of kind of like that, and it's called an N95 mask. Now, if that breath is coming out like that, and they sneezed into their mask, then wouldn't particles come out of that little hole? I would think so. Okay, wait a minute. Mm. 
There's so many here that weren't here before. I wanted to read to you what's so good about this mask and see if anybody can pick up on what's wrong with it. Let me back up and cl tick, click on it. Okay, here we go. Here's the article. Listen to this. See if you can pick up on what's wrong with it. Revolutionary nanotech masks back in stock. Okay, listen. Anti-droplet, antibacterial, breathable. Both the CDC and the WHO, WHO, recommend wearing protective face masks in public settings. And we are proud to bring you the best of its kind, the space mask. That's what they're calling this, space mask. You'll be protected from dangerous particles, droplets, dust, smog, pollen, and mold while restoring your freedom and peace of mind. They didn't say smoke, did they? None of them are good enough for cigarette smoke unless you wear something like the firemen wear in a fire. Space mask nanotech materials are innovative, but that's not that's not the right answer. Space mask nanotech materials are innovative, lightweight, and soft to the touch. They have been tested and certified both antibacterial and UV protective by a world-class testing lab and expert in quality assurance. The nanotech materials repel droplets while at the same time allow airflow for comfortable breathing. And then it click you can click on shop now. Now what did this article not say? I'm not telling. I will tomorrow or later today or something. See if you can figure it out. What does that advertisement not tell you? Here's a hint. It's antibacterial. I find that wonderful. Okay. I'm ending it here and I'll talk to you later.